Welcome everyone to another workout. We, again, are so glad you're joining us. Uh, we are just hoping to move around and uh, have a little fun together. Absolutely we are. Yeah, and so what you're gonna see us do today is a kind of a cardio circuit. It's gonna be almost all legs. Um, so you're gonna see us start with our warm up. And remember, we are warming up with the same moves that you're gonna do. Our warm ups are gonna take about 30 seconds here. And this first one is a squat. And you'll notice that we're not going up and down, up and down real fast like exercise. We're, we're taking our time to sit down and really just kind of play around with our range of motion, making sure that it feels good, almost like you're doing a little stretch at the same time. We would encourage you to do the same. Just move the best way you, you can, the best way that feels best for you. And when you're done with those squats, shake it out, and then we're gonna move into your lunges. Now, lunges are basically just a step forward or a step back. I'm always way more comfortable doing a step back lunge, but I know lots of people like stepping forward and, You'll see Mags or I uh, kind of show that option uh, at some point during the, the workout. I think you do a step forward, yeah, right now, yeah. yeah, there you go. So again, your goal is just to move move comfortably, right? The There's lots of ways that we can move and lots of ways that we can move well, and so we're gonna, we're gonna experiment with those, right? Sometimes because <laughs> we can move that way, we will try to. Your third exercise is gonna be a side lunge. So again, not too different from regular lunges, just moving to the side. And again, there are so many different ways of doing this. Some people will keep that trailing leg straight. Some people will bend it. I'll allow it, I'll allow you to do it. However, it, again, it feels mm -hmm. best, right? You, um, some people are so worried, What's, what way should my feet face? You know, uh, what should I do with my hands? And the, the, I always tell people, I'm like, do what feels best for you, right? Mm. Kind of aim for what's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Your fourth exercise is what's called the curtsy lunge. This one can feel a little bit different. Uh, the best way I can describe this is, is saying, take that leg and really just step behind the other leg. Don't worry about how far you're going. Don't worry about what direction your feet are facing. Just step behind and then sit down a little bit. If it feels comfortable, go a little lower. If it's uncomfortable, change it up right away, mm -hmm. right? Make sure it's not painful at all. Mm -hmm. And again, look good, right? There's a good chance that if you if you look good and you feel good, you're pain-free, then it's probably a good move for you. It's probably something you can do. Mm -hmm. Your last move, your fifth and final move of the circuit is gonna be what we call a get-up. You can go slow down to your backside or your front side. You'll see us do both. Or you'll see me do a little bit of a rock and roll there. I'm trying to use momentum. <laughs> if you, yeah, <laughs> momentum is our friend. If you uh, can do any one way, go ahead and do it. And while we're wrapping up here, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how today's circuit is gonna roll. Again, it's gonna feel a little more like cardio. We're gonna get your heart pumping. You're gonna be breathing here. You've got about a 30 second gap until we go, right? Until you see us start to go. But the idea is that you're gonna build. So you're gonna go squats for one minute, just back and forth, right? Squat, 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 squat. Then when that first minute is done, you're gonna add a lunge. So you're gonna go one squat, and then you're gonna lunge either forward or backward on each leg. Then every minute, we're gonna add a movement. So here's our countdown. You're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's get rolling. You're doing squats for this first minute. You've got a lot of squats coming your way today. Yeah, yeah. lots we <laughs> of legs. It was, I was burning like two minutes in. I was like, whew. Yeah, yeah. Feeling it's, it. <laughs> it's gonna be challenging. So because we're not doing rounds per se, um, I usually will say, hey, first round is all about getting a feel for it, making it feel good, and kind of understand that that's always the highest priority, mm. right? Instead of a round and saying, hey, this is your only focus, really every rep right now, your main focus is to have it look and feel good. And by the way, you're about 30 seconds in. This is the longest uninterrupted time of exercise that you'll have. Right, doing the longest just one time exercise. you'll do just one movement, yeah. Right, so even though you're adding exercises later on, uh, I always think it's a little nicer because you get a little break, mm -hmm. right? Not doing the same movement the whole time yeah. is nice. You've got about eight seconds to go. Keep going with those squats. Again, I was look. slowing down. <laughs> oh yeah, we both were feeling the burn already. Aim to look and feel good. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna do a squat, then you're going to lunge on one leg, lunge on the other leg, and then get right back into that squat. And I think Maggie found it was helpful to kind of say either out loud or in her head. Yeah, I kind of had like the rhythm of the words. The mantra, head, like, right? Squat, squat, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge. Uh, yeah, that helped me kind of exactly. remember what I was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. And one thing I want to point out with about 30 seconds to go here until we add another one. One thing I want to point out is that you'll see Mags and I, our rhythm will change. And I want you to know you do not have to stay with our rhythm. In fact, I, I kind of don't want you to. I want right. you to move 
at the pace that makes sense for you. And that's why we have that running clock is you have a minute to get as many squat lunge combos as many good ones as you can, right? Yeah, you're, look, you're like I'm taking your rest right Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Eight seconds to go. And what I'll <laughs> tell people is when we start our new move, you can either start, you can stop right where you are and then start again or just add it on to the end. Now we're adding that third move, that side lunge. So now your mantra is squat, lunge, lunge, side lunge, side lunge, squat, and you start it over yep. again. Go ahead and do that side lunge if you haven't started doing that yet. Squat. Yeah. Lunge, lunge, side lunge, side lunge. Exactly. <laughs> right back into it. Yeah, and as you add these exercises, I, I felt like the minutes actually went faster. It was I uh, did too. Yeah, yeah you, you I didn't agree. Get mm -hmm. as many times to you know to, to get a, a round or a rhythm in. Yeah, how long is the whole the whole flow? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, so if we're at home, a good idea would be to do it twice, three times. Yeah, so well, we'll get more into this in future kind of exercises and okay. workouts, but the, the guidelines for workouts are that you get about 10 seconds left here, right? About 150 minutes a week, and that's all purpose. Okay. And there's... Five. Thanks for the countdown. Four, three, two, one. Now you're adding curtsy lunges to the mix. And again, your mantra now is squat, lunge, lunge, side lunge, side lunge, Curtsy lunge, curtsy lunge, and then you repeat it again. So keep going with that, and I'll and I'll, fill, I'll kind of answer Maggie or I'll answer Maggie's question. So your goal is to do about 150 minutes of all-purpose exercise in a week. That could be walking, that could be strength training, that could be these little circuits. And so the idea is that you just add them up a little bit at a time. This would be five minutes, and in in future videos, I'll say that there's some fun stuff we can do with our math based on on how hard these workouts are. But for right now, the simple version is about 150 minutes a week. If you do a workout every day, that's roughly 20, 25 minutes a day. So if you're doing five minutes of this, you'd want to add, you know, 15 more minutes of an outside walk, something nice and easy. Or do this three times and get 15 minutes in. Three, two, one. Your last addition is gonna be that get up. So now your kind of inner monologue should be squat, lunge, lunge, side lunge, side lunge, curtsy lunge, curtsy lunge, get up, and then you're gonna start it all over again. My guess is that if you do this uninterrupted, you're gonna have time for like four rounds. They take a while. <laughs> or you'll, you'll maybe get you know four of these full intervals in within that time. And again, I hope you're looking good. I hope you're feeling good. By now, you should be feeling a little bit of a burn. And if you're not, that's okay, totally fine. Maybe you've got stronger legs. Maybe you're choosing to go a little slower. You've got about 20 seconds left. Remember, get-ups can be slow. They can be fast with momentum. You can go front side, you can go back side. And with eight seconds to go, I'll also say when the five minutes is done, you can stop right then. I always like to finish my circuit, so you'll see me do that too. Four. Three, two, one. Either take a stop or finish that circuit you did. Great. Whoops. Ooh, yeah, woohoo. <laughs> we were that was a tough one. <laughs> social distancing there. And Maggie's going to make me foot tap instead. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm not we're sure. In we're in the same we're... house. <laughs> I don't like that. So. <laughs> All right. So, like we've been doing this week, we are going to still focus on the muscles for stretching here. We're going to focus on the muscles that allow us to squat or sit a little bit better. We did your, or yesterday, we did our modified pigeon where we were resting on the floor. And today we're gonna give you the option to do either. So Maggie's gonna do that uh, modified pigeon or that 90-90, and I'm gonna do that modified down dog. So we've already started the first 30 seconds, and the first 30 seconds is a hold. So if you're doing that, uh, that hold that Maggie's doing, you've got one leg forward and you're just gently leaning down over it. If you're doing the modified down dog that I'm doing, You've got one leg forward, one leg back, and that back leg is pushing that heel towards the ground, feeling that stretch. And now that you're into your second half of the minute, you're gonna maintain your posture, but you're adding a little movement. You'll see me lightly pushing my heel up and down, and it's kind of a relax, stretch, relax, stretch. You go at whatever tempo and rhythm makes sense for you. Maggie's doing the same thing with that forward knee. She's pushing it into the ground. She's relaxing. Yeah, Push. not pushing with my hands, but just pushing with my muscles, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yeah, it's gentle. Yeah. Three, two, one. Shake it out. And when you're ready, go ahead and get into the other side. First 30 seconds is a hold or a static stretch. 
And like your exercises, your goal here is to look and feel good. It should feel like a good stretch, mm -hmm. right? If it's painful. Yeah, this felt really good at the end of this workout. Yeah. With the hips feeling a little tighter. And yeah, and I'll just say too, we are just pumped whenever we hear about people who are moving and having fun with us. So keep the comments coming. Keep letting us know what you're doing. Keep, um, you know, sharing photos with us no, either on Facebook it. or um, wherever wherever you want to let us know you're joining us. We we just love that. That's so fun. Mm -hmm. We're proud of you guys. It makes our hearts swell when we hear you guys doing that. Oh, totally. Yeah, we've got our little community here. I think it's always way more fun when we have more people doing it. Absolutely. Yeah, we're we're just uh, we're all in this together, and we can do this and. Um, so we're almost done with our workout here, Aaron. Any last Two, comments? One, great job on your stretch. No, no, it was a great workout. All right, yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make it a great day. Again, thank you so much, and remember to subscribe.